You may be familiar with this story, the story of Otzi the Iceman. Otzi was a Neolithic hunter living in the Alps of northern Italy. The last few hours of his life were spent attempting to cross a remote mountain pass. He didn't make it. Dying high in the Alps, his body was soon concealed by falling snow. Incredibly, his remains lay under a blanket of snow and ice for 5,000 years. In 1991, the snow receded, revealing the remains of this ancient hunter to some passing hikers. Otzi was an instant celebrity. Scientists from all over the world were anxious to examine the remains and the artifacts from the site. Artifacts included clothing, medicine, and weapons. The discovery of Otzi coincided with the arrival of a powerful new scientific tool, PCR, the ability to analyze DNA from incredibly small samples. Using this technique, researchers determined that the blood on Otzi's weapons was human and had come from four different individuals. Our ability to extract and analyze DNA has revealed something very new about Otzi the hunter. He was actually a Neolithic warrior. In this lab, we are going to be extracting some DNA. You will be able to do this at home or in your school. Obviously, we're not going to extract DNA from Otzi or the blood on his weapons. Let's leave that to the professionals. But we can extract DNA from material that is related to this story. One team of researchers examined Otzi's clothing. On his grass cloak, they discovered two seeds. Botanists determined that these were einkorn seeds, kernels from an ancient type of wheat. Studying the contents of his stomach, other researchers determined that Otzi's last meal included einkorn. This suggested that he lived with an agricultural community, people who had learned how to farm and cultivate wheat. Einkorn is no longer grown as a crop, but I did find some seeds available from an organization that is preserving rare plants. We planted these einkorn seeds in our garden and within a few weeks we had a small plot of this ancient wheat. This is einkorn wheat. We recently harvested this from our garden. This is the type of wheat that was found on Otzi's cloak and in his stomach. This primitive wheat isn't grown commonly anymore, but it is the ancestor of all modern wheat. If you were a researcher interested in adding to the knowledge about Otzi, you might be able to analyze the DNA of the wheat kernels found on his cloak and compare them to wild einkorn still growing in parts of the world, possibly telling us more about his community. One of the first steps in an investigation like this is to extract DNA from the sample. We will extract DNA from modern wheat, the type of wheat we make bread, pasta and bagels from. Modern wheat is descended from ancient einkorn. The next video in this series, DNA Lab Part 2, demonstrates how to extract DNA from wheat germ. Step-by-step -step instructions for extracting DNA can also be found at our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the projects link.